Hello everyone, this is Darkhawk1303 today, and I'm going to be presenting you with a rather different video today than what I normally do. Normally I do gameplays, but this time I'm going to be showing you my PS3 games. First of all, I'm going to go through and show you all the games I have, just show you every single game I have, and then I'm going to go through and tell you what my top 10 favorite games are. So for my videos, you can kind of know what kind of games, like you can comment below which one of these games do you want to see gameplay from? You can, you know, do that. If you want me to do other videos besides Call of Duty and Battlefield, because that's all I've done really so far. So yeah, starting off, here we have Transformers War for Cybertron. It's a pretty good game. I'd recommend uh, buying it, because now it's a lot cheaper. Um... So, yeah, Transformers War for Cybertron, or Cybertron, is what it is. It's a pretty good game. I'd recommend buying it. Next game what we have here is MW3. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, this is my friend's copy. Because my little brother, he broke my Modern Warfare 3 copy, so I'm kind of pissed off about that. But I can borrow Modern for 3 from my friend whenever I want to. Or I can go out and buy the game. Which I'm going to choose to borrow it because I'm saving up money to buy other things, you know. I don't just buy games, you know. I buy other stuff too. But, I mean, most of the games I have here my parents bought. Most of them I bought. Some of them. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't waste my money on buying a bunch of games. Because, you know, they're just kind of wasting your money. Next game here. I never really played this, but, uh. It's kind of another one of those older games uh, called Full Auto Battle Liners 2. <clears throat> it's it's uh, not a bad game. There used to be online on it, but I think that they shut down the servers on it. So I don't know if they did or not. I'm pretty sure that they did. But that game is kind of not really that good. Same with the Spider-Man 3. I'm not a big fan of that either. Not much to say. I don't like this game either. Stormrise, yeah, kind of one of those games I don't really like either. I never really play it, so I'm just going to put that to the side. Same with Ultimate Alliance, I do not like this game either much. I'm not going to recommend buying that. American Idol, don't really recommend buying that either. Lost Planet, this game I'd recommend going out and trying to buy. It's actually a good third-person shooter game. It's online. Multiplayer, and you can play against people from around the world, anywhere. It's, it's a worldwide game. It's pretty fun to play. I'd recommend buying it. Another game I have here is Obliv Oblivion. Got the Game of the Year edition. I'd recommend buying this game as well. It's a pretty good game to go out and buy. Same with the next game I'm going to mention here is Fracture. That is also a pretty good third-person shooter um, game. Uh, and Oblivion isn't a shooting game, by the way. It's like a sword fighting kind of medieval times kind of type of game. It's mainly a fighting game. And then Quake Wars. It's a pretty good online game, you know. First person shooter. You can kind of fly around planes and helicopters and drive these little four wheelers and warthog stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. Next, I have the Medal of Honor Limited Edition. I'd recommend buying that too. Um, well, actually, I'd recommend buying uh, Battlefield 3 instead. Because I actually have Battlefield 3. But uh, anyway, here's Soul Calibur 4. That's a pretty good game to have. I'd recommend buying that as well if you you know want to. Same with Resistance 2. I do not have Resistance 3, but Resistance 2 has actually gotten a lot cheaper now. So I could you could buy that. Instead of Resistance 3, because they're basically like the same game. Um, and then next here, I got Grand Theft Auto, episode from Liberty City. It's a uh, pretty good Grand Theft Auto. Next, I have SmackDown vs. Raw. This one's a 2008 version. I used to have the other ones, but I kind of sold them. Because I, I don't know why I haven't sold this one yet either. Because it's not really that good. 
Not only is it not that good, but it's an older wrestling game, so who cares? I mean, it's back in 2008, that's a while ago, so. And here's Transformers the game. Um, you know, it's, I don't really like this Transformers either, because there's only solo, like, campaign and solo stuff, so there's no online on that one. This next game here, MX vs. ATV. You drive four-wheelers, dirt bikes, monster trucks, doom buggies, go-karts. Anything you can think of, really, that's an ATV. You can drive it on here. It's actually kind of fun. Next up, I got Portal 2. Portal 2 is actually a really fun strategy puzzle game. It's pretty fun to play. I do enjoy playing it. It does make you think sometimes. And uh, it's a fun game. I'd really go out and buy that. This is one I'd really recommend. It's pretty fun to play. <laughs> Another game that'd be pretty cheap to get right now, even though I've had this since it's been out, is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And uh, that's a good game to buy too. And also, I do have Mod Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So I got Modern Warfare 2, but my friend is borrowing it. So, I'm letting one of my friends borrow that, but uh, I do have Mono for 2 as well. Okay, now here I got Midnight Club Los Angeles. Los Angeles. And it's a pretty good game. You know, it's a pretty good game. I mean, not really, I won't really recommend buying it. I mean, it is fun. You can play online and showcase your cars and have people vote on them and all that. And drive around and race people. Get some nice cars on there. It's pretty fun to do. And then next we have Call of Duty Black Ops. I'd recommend buying that too. I mean, I really do like playing zombies on this game. The online, honestly, I don't really like that much. It's mainly for the zombies. So, yeah. And then next here we have Warhawk. It's an alright game, but I really don't like it a whole lot. So, I wouldn't personally recommend buying it. Just because I don't really like it. So, you can go out and try buying this, but... It's a multiplayer only game, so you cannot play any single player. It's only multiplayer. And almost every game I've been showing you it has online on it. Like Killzone 2 has online on it. I don't have Killzone 3, I know, but I got Killzone 2, so it's good enough, I guess. It is a fun game. I don't play it, though, but it is pretty good ratings on it. I'd, I'd go buy it or rent it, whatever. And then next here. I have God of War collection. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good game. I got God of War. I'm gonna move the pile over here a bit. Okay, so next we have Saints Row 2. <laughs> My little brother broke this game, just like Modern Warfare 3. So yeah, I'm kind of pissed off about that. This game's broke as well. This is my copy. I have my friend's copy right now, but this is mine broke, so I have to borrow it or buy it again, which kind of sucks. Need Your Speed Undercover. It's a pretty, pretty fun game. You know, I want to buy the Bugatti Veyron on that game. I'm trying to save up for it. This game is pretty fun to do that kind of stuff. Race, outrun the cops and all that. Same with Need Your Speed Carbon. Same basic thing. And you got your rock band. It's a good game as well. I enjoy playing that with my friends and stuff. Playing with the drums and all that and guitar. And you got Meg. It's like massive online game. It's massive. When you play this game online, there's a lot of people playing it. Yeah, your Call of Duty World at War. That's another one of those fun games as well. Got you need speed pro street. And then a really good game right here, Battlefield 3. Go out and buy it. I'd really recommend it. It's a really good game. Battlefield 3 is just beast. Beast game right there. And Grand Theft Auto 4, another really good game. Not much to really say about it. And uh Street Fighter 4. It's a pretty fun game. It's not too bad, but it's alright if you're in fighting games kind of. And then Guitar Hero Legend of Rock, this game is missing, I don't know where it is. So three games I have I can't even play, but uh, all of the rest over here, I can. So yeah, those are my games, let me know what you guys think of my games I have so far. 
I'll probably buy a new game soon and show it to you guys, but uh I also do have Modern Warfare 2. But my friends bought one of my friends is borrowing it, so that's why I didn't really show it. So yeah, this is Darkhawk1303 signing out. Peace out people.